Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970s Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the Minnesota Twins at Metropolitan Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is John Gelnar, whose record is 2-7 with a 5.64 ERA. And pitching for the Twins is Dean Chance, whose record is 14-10 with a 3.82 ERA. Okay, uh, yesterday was a real bummer as we were shut out 9 to nothing. We were never in the ball game. I think that will probably do it for Bucky Brandon. We gave him two shots, um, you know, at starting, and I thought at least, you know, he could be a salvageable, you know, four, five-inning guy, uh, you know, keeping us in ball games. But, uh, you know, our offense was cold regardless yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he... He's clearly not a multiple inning type pitcher. And I think it's time that we give uh, Ron Herbal the gerbil a chance to uh, start a couple of games here before the end of the month. So we're going to swap them out uh, real quick here as we go to our pitchers. And there's Bucky Brandon, uh, Bucky and Herbal will change spots. Now, we did also make a roster move yesterday. Um, I sent down Jack DeLauro uh, and brought up Bill Edgerton. Uh, Edgerton pitched for us um, down the stretch last year. Six games, he made one start. Was not particularly good. Um, I'm not really worried too much about what he has to offer us. But we did need a fresh arm. Uh, coming out of the bullpen uh, because DeLauro's tired. He's been pretty rough. Um, so we, we're going to swap him out. And uh, Bucky Brandon, I guess we'll move Ray Peters back into the setup role. And we'll move Diego Segui into short relief. He's been terrible since we brought him back. Also of note, um, Ray Peters now has a 1970 uh, Tops card. This one was created by someone out there in the internet world, um, and Julio L tracked it down for me. A really beautiful card and uh, perfect for the rest of our year. And I believe I also have one for the 71 season, too, which is great. Uh, we have nine more days until Fred Gladding comes back, so that is going to be, um, you know, well after um, the uh, road trip that we're on right now. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with today's game. Now, today is game 119, and that means today is the last chance that you have to get in on our free giveaway. Uh, here are the contestants for the duck race. Um, I pay for all shipping. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of everything. So if you're unfamiliar, if you're just finding this video and you're unfamiliar with what the prizes are, at the end of this video, in a little window uh, right about here, uh, there will be a, a video where you can see what the prizes are uh, for the giveaway. Now that giveaway will take place tomorrow in the seventh inning stretch of game 120. Okay, so here's our current 12 contestants. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have Lance B, we have Don T, we have John M and Thomas D, James K, Julio L, Al B, Jefferson Y, Lying Dog, Freddie C, Ethan P, and Dave at Not Your Status Quo. And this is the order in which, um, you know, uh, I have uh, uh, accepted the contestants, uh, you know, in order uh, for which they signed up. But we'll shuffle everything one time uh, when we actually go to do the race. So, um, you know, it's a little bit more random. But those are the contestants, and uh, I'm looking forward. I'm excited. I, I love I love giving stuff away. I love doing the duck race. It's actually a good, fun, you know, two minutes um, and a nice way to break up the season. Now, we do have, as we get started with today's game, we will have a grand prize giveaway uh, at the end of this season. That is game, uh, you know, uh, during game 162. Uh, I don't know what those prizes will be yet, but I'll be out there hunting for them. Uh, probably starting tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. 
Now we got John Gelnar in the mount, on the mound today, and he has not pitched well. Uh, versus the Twins, they're batting 359 against him. And I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing that Diego Segui is not available today. And of course, Bucky Brandon started yesterday. So we're going to be short on right-handers. It's going to be all lefties today. Um, you know, what we could do also is we could uh, pitch herbal to gerbil um, out, out of the um, starting spot today since we just swapped him out for Brandon. And uh, if we just use him for an inning, I'm sure that he would still be able to make his next start. That's what we'll do. Okay, uh, Dean Chance, he is a right-hander. He's the former Cy Young Award winner for our 1969 season. Uh, we're mixing it up. We're getting uh, Del Ripple in there uh, to start. I mean, we got such shut down by a, a nobody yesterday. I don't know what kind of chance we have against Dean Chance. So we may as well try to get some other uh, bat uh, at plate appearances for some of our bench guys. So Belanger's in there today, and so is Del Ripple. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Seattle Pilots. Batting leadoff in left field is Jose Cruz. Batting second in center field is Tommy Ag. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepito. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth at second base is Van Kelly. Batting sixth at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting 7th and catching is Clay Dalrymple. Batting 8th at shortstop is Mark Belanger. And batting ninth will be the pitcher, John Gelnar. Okay, here's Dean Chance. He's making his 28th start of the year. 14-10 and 10 with a 382 ERA, 160 strikeouts. In 202 and two-thirds innings pitched. Opponents are batting 253 against him. Six complete games and a shutty. Fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is very low at 37%. So he's a fly ball pitcher. He's given up a career high 18 home runs this year. His fastball is rated at 90. That's his best pitch. And a curveball at 82 is a great secondary pitch. Overall rated at 91. The 29 year old righty is a free agent at the end of the year. You see his uh, Cy Young Award winning season from last year in our sim. Look at his log. You'll see that he's coming off a complete game shutout against the Indians. I, I always feel like that's to our advantage. Um, but having said that, he lost the previous two games, giving up a total of 14 runs. So the shutout was in order to kind of get him back to whatever his average ERA should be. So I don't know. Maybe he'll pitch a just a regular game today. Let's take a look at the Twins' defense. Solid everywhere but center field. That's Ulander back in there. Minerwald is their catcher now. Um, the uh, original catcher is uh, John Roseboro, and his rating dropped down to a 65. So Minerwald is their everyday catcher, and Cardenas is back in there at shortstop. Um, he had the day off yesterday because he was tired. Oh, and Oliva, who had a big day against us yesterday, is listed as sore. And yet he's still in there. So let's see how he does. Okay, here we go. Jose Cruz leading off versus Dean Chance. No chance. Striking out to start the ball game. One down. Here is Tommy Age. He's kind of settled into that 250 batting average. I don't really expect much more from him this year. Oh, you know what? we got to get rid of this um, duck race. It always slows down the gameplay. So that should uh, stop the delays. Two quick outs for Chance. That'll well, bring up Joey Pep and Pepitone. Get some good wood on it. Send it to the warning track for out number three. So a 1-2-3 inning to go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Twins lineup. Batting leadoff, playing first base is Rod Carew. Batting second in center field is Ted Ulander. Batting third in right field is Tony Oliva. Batting cleanup in left field is Charlie Manuel. Batting fifth at third base is Greg Nettles. 
Batting sixth and catching is George Mitterwald. Batting seventh at shortstop is Leo Cardenas. Batting eighth at second base is Frank Felici. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Dean Chance. Okay, Johnny Gelnar making his 15th start today. 2-7 with a 5.63 ERA, 35 strikeouts. In 76 and two-thirds innings pitched, opponents are batting 296 against him. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44.1%. Uh, the only pitch he has left that's any good is the fastball, barely above league average at 81. Overall rated a 77. The 27-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of next year, looking at his log. You know, he did not have a bad performance against the Royals. He went four innings, giving up two runs on seven hits. And uh, we must have yanked him because we had a scoring opportunity. Um, and you can just look back over his previous starts. He's coming back from the pen and see that he's not gone longer than five and two third innings in any of them. All righty, let's take a look here at the defense for the Pilots. We've got our two best defensive players. Uh, for the left side of the infield, and Van Kelly leading the team in defensive range and war. Uh, the outfield is our standard three. And behind home plate is Dalrymple, uh, technically a, an upgrade over Sanguian. So this is our best defense that we have to offer. Here we go. Rod Cruz leading off. Fly ball in the left field. Jose Cruz making the grab, one down. That's going to bring up Ted Ulander. All these lefties yesterday had big days as Ulander gets the first hit of the ball game. Goes to the opposite field for a single. And we mentioned in yesterday's game that Tony Oliva had, coming into the game, nine out of the last ten games being multi-hit games. And then he had a multi-hit game yesterday despite being sore. And there's his first hit today. It's first and third. One down for Charlie Manuel. We're going to play back for a double play possibility, and he walks Manuel. That's going to bring up Greg Nittles. He had a home run yesterday, and he's got a home run against Geldar. Bases are loaded. 2-2 two -two count. Fly ball to center field. That should score Yulander, and Oliva will advance. So much, much like yesterday's game, let's jump on ahead in the first. The catcher, Mitterwald. Base hit to right. That'll score Oliva. 2-0 Minnesota. Leo Cardenas he had the day off yesterday. Base hit to right. 3-0 just like that, and we are done. <laughs> That's it. We're not scoring more than three runs today against... Uh, chance we head to the top of the second and Darren Johnson will lead it off a rare walk from Dean Chance um, I guess we hit and run with Kelly it's rated an 88 in the hit and run department Darren Johnson caught stealing. It don't matter. Just push the button. And Dalrymple flying. Out. Well, we don't have a hit today. The lefties are absolutely destroying us. Jose Cruz throws Carew out at second. Feels like charity has another hit. To left field. And top of the third. Belanger. Delnar. So he's not giving. So this, here's the game. We know the, how this works already. 
If he's not giving up hits, he's going to give up walks. This is a pitcher who does not. I mean, he's given up 72 walks in 205 innings pitched. You know, he had 68 walks coming in, in through the day. I guess he has walked over 100 three times in his career. It makes no sense. His control is high. His command is high. He shouldn't be walking anybody. Well, I guess his movement is a 78. I don't know. I don't think it means anything. Cruz with the base hit down the line. Gelnar moves to second. Fourth walk. Hey, that was our first hit. I didn't... I should have mentioned that. Base is loaded. Joe Pepitone is up. We're not going to sack fly because Gelnar is not going to score. We'll just take our grounding in the double play. I don't know. Maybe a base at the left. That might score two, actually. What do you know? Pepitone with a two RBI single to left. And we're only down a run. Johnson is a double play waiting to happen. I mean, we'll hit and run, but I don't think it's going to... I don't know if we can do that even. Well, that'll get the job done. AG will tag and score. And just like that, you tied it up. That is nothing short of miraculous. And then Kelly will fly out to left center. Well, the big guys come through. That's always nice. It's all knotted up at three. If Gelnar could just get past these lefties. Although we brought in lefties in matchup situations in yesterday's game, and they all got lit up. So, I, I don't know. I, I think the game, again, will always just choose to do what it needs to do in the moment and not do anything really based on ratings. Ah, wow, George Mitterwald is making the best of his starting situation. Just doubled off the center field wall. That's his ninth double this year. Um, I was thinking about potentially walking Cardenas, who's four for six, but Quilici is batting, what, 350, it said, on his... Um, on the title card in the last 20 games, so I guess we just take our you know, our medicine here. Our party now flies out. We get out of the jam, go to the top of the fourth inning. If it gets to Gelnar, we're going to pull him. There's a base hit for Rodriguez. Suddenly, we are turning on Dean Chance. So he's going to have three hits and three and four walks. It's, it's amazing. Now Dalrymple, he is a great hit and run guy. In theory. Just won us a ball game two, two games ago. At the very least, he gets Rodriguez over into scoring position for Mark Belanger. I expect nothing here. Expect nothing, you get nothing. Yep, they're going to get a shit ton of runs right now. Out comes Gelnar. We've seen worse, right? Well, let's bring in the freshest arm. Bill Edgerton. He's not good. <laughs> what has he done in the minors? Let's take a look. 39 games, 7 and 5 with a 379 ERA in AAA. Um, 123 and a third innings pitched, all in relief. That doesn't seem like good minor league managing. <laughs> Let's bring the guy in from the bullpen, have him pitch four innings every game. All right. Lefty on lefty violence and Carew. A 552 on base percentage. That seems. On impossible, like 
That's Barry Bonds level. Rodriguez checks the runner, goes to first. Edgerton will face Ted Ulander. Oh, one count. Fly ball to left center field. AG showing some range. While we get out of the jam, we go to the top of the fifth. Um, I guess we'll let Edgerton bat uh, since he's leading off the inning. You got the three lefties coming up anyway. He takes a cut. Popping it up. Where was that? An error! It's dropped by the catcher. Oh, no. Mitterwald having a good game until then. Drops the pop-up. And we'll take a free pass. So our, we are, our, both of our pitchers have reached base today. Which is just stupid, but that's what the game does. Now, Cruz is not a hit-and-run guy. We're just going to let him take a cut. Oh, he's going to... That, that's paying off. That's going all the way to the wall. Edgerton, no chance at scoring from first. Uh, that is Cruz's eighth double as a pilot. He had one with the Cardinals. Um... Let's see if uh, AG can hit to the right side. Full count. No, he strikes out. That's what he does. Now we have to go on contact. Will Pepitone make contact? That is the question. Oh. Come on. This is so, like, premeditated. It's incredibly frustrating we had second and third and nobody out ag uh i mean we have the best hitters coming up ag strikes out with runners in scoring position and pepitone hits it back to the pitcher a, a guy that has a ground ball percentage that's the lowest one we've seen what a bunch of shit and then the ground out this game is garbage there's no doubt about it and now Edgerton is going to get pummeled. That's the only way it works when something like that happens. Oliva. I think he's still looking for his second hit, right? Yep. There's one out. Charlie Manuel. Striking out. Edgerton looking strong. Strong like Bolt. And Nettles ropes it in the center. It's down to the wall for a double. That is Nettles' 10th double. Was he injured? Not last year. So he must be in a platoon situation. Okay. Well, that's it for Edgerton. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and bring in Herbal here. We just want him to give us one inning. Herbal coming in to face Mitterwald. Two for two with an RBI. Striking him out. Good job. This has turned out to be a good game, despite the first inning. Twins rally. Top of the sixth. Here's Van Kelly. Kelly hasn't done jack shit for us in a long time. Flying out the left center. One down. Hey, Rodriguez into the gap. A double. His ninth double of the year. He's a capable player. We have a runner at second. I think Rodriguez will probably be our everyday third baseman next year. Because uh, because uh, Rich Rall is um, he's you know, getting long in the tooth. Okay, are they going to walk Belanger to get to Herbal? Oh, Belanger's a waste. We go to the bottom of the sixth. We're going to let Herbal go one more inning. 
And struck out both batters in face. Here's Polisi. Oh, good job. Bollinger getting to that one. I mean, I, I kind of feel like the only way we're in this ball game is because our defense is so good today. And he struck out another batter. Herbal strikes out three of four. Great job. Can't wait to see what he does in the starter role. Okay, uh, who do we have on the bench that can hit righties? Well, Rich Rollins. Here's Rich Rollins. 8 for 27 in his career versus Dean Chance. He's faced him a ton. Maybe should have started today. Oh, popping it up. Well, we're not getting anywhere with Rich Rowell. Back to Jose Cruz. He's 2 for 3 today, and he's got a walk to add to it. 72% chance of stealing second. Um... Middlewall's got a terrible arm and a caught stealing rating of a uh, uh, percentage of 30%. So does that mean he's due? I mean, we have to steal. We have our best bats coming up. Uh, you know, what are we saving it for? So we'll see if um, Cruz can steal second. Fastball down the middle and he's thrown out. AG gets a base hit. That's only the sixth hit today. Well, you know AG's going to go. 75% chance. Got thrown out yesterday, and they pitched out, which we can't do. I mean, there's no way we're winning the game today. They've thrown us out three times on the base path today. But we will bring in a lefty. Um, Ted Davidson gave up his first run yesterday. I guess we go to Ramon. Ramon struggles with lefties as it is. Okay. Well, at least we can get it over with now. Oh, ground ball to third. Get the force at second. We're going to guard the lines. Late in the ball game. Right thing to do. They steal at will on a catcher who's got a 94 rating, and we can't steal at all off of, uh, a catcher with a 78 rating. That's how you know the game blows. Oliva grounds out. Will this be a wild pitch or a pass ball or a ball? Pass ball. That's how you lose. This game has become so fucking predictable. It's pathetic. It had to happen. So yeah, now we're just pushing buttons to get this game over with. There's an error. And a strikeout. And a double play. Medals. Taking out Ramon, bringing in Ray Peters. Got a new baseball card. Cardenas off the wall for a double. So that's a guaranteed run. 15th double of the year. Felice is one for three today. Fly ball to left center. Down to our final three outs. Twins win four to three. They had two errors. <laughs> and we still lose. Take a look at the standings. Well, there's the National League. 
Cardinals have won 12 in a row. Um, Baltimore and New York are tied. Oakland is five up. Uh, Minnesota has won five in a row. Chicago picked the right time to lose. Um, headline news. Stuff happens. Other things happen. Oh, wow. Another shutout for Rooker? Is that six shutouts this year? No, three shutouts. I must be thinking of somebody else. Eight complete games and three shutouts. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, injury to J.R. Richard of Houston. That's going to hurt. Uh, Houston's. Wait, what? They're not. Yeah, he's 18 and 7. So that will pretty much take him out of Cy Young contention. He might not um, be on the peer, player pyramid either. He might fall right off that. Uh, where's Houston at? I mean, other than Texas. Standings. Three games back, and they've lost four in a row, and they lost their second best pitcher, Don Wilson being the number one pitcher in the league. All right, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Well, we have something good to look forward to tomorrow, at the very least. Uh, and that is the Duck Race, where we're giving away these great prizes. You can find the video right here if you want to check out uh, what the prizes are. They'll pop up momentarily. Player of the game, I guess it was the big Joe Pepitone uh, two RBI single. Probably should never have happened. I mean, we got missed hit and run, thrown out of the base path three times, um, caught, yeah, caught stealing three times. 0 for 3 stealing. Uh, two errors we couldn't take advantage of. Dean Chance throws a complete game. Um, and, yeah. We lose on a pass ball. Great job, game. Brilliant. Great programming. Totally makes sense. We're going to come back tomorrow and give away some stuff, though. That's good news. So, until then, everyone, have a great day.